Hi, this is Rich with the Rice Company Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to do a pattern eclipse in Quilters Creative Touch. Pattern Eclipse is a gold access feature that will be helpful for t-shirt quilts or embroidered blocks. This feature allows you to avoid certain areas when quilting. You can access Pattern Eclipse from Select and Sew, Borders and Corners, or Pantograph. For this tutorial, I will be using Pantograph. I will first set up my pattern in Power Panto. Once you set up your pattern how you like it, place as a single pattern or sew in zones. For this video, I'm going to place it as a single pattern. I drew this as an example to show you the various shapes you can do with Eclipse. Let's place our first top left node. Then place our top right node. Then our bottom right node. And our bottom left node. Now that we've placed our pattern, tap on Quilt. On your quilting interface, tap on Plugins. Then tap on the third option, Pattern Eclipse. Before you begin the actual process of Pattern Eclipse, I would like to give you a brief overview of the options available to you. Let's begin with the Add option. This option allows you to add points as you move your machine around the area you want to eclipse. Next, look at the Remove option on your screen. This option will remove your last set point, or all set points. Below is the New Region option. The new region option will allow you to add second or multiple eclipse regions. Once you begin to add a point around the areas you want to eclipse, you will notice the options appear on your screen for removing an entire eclipse or multiple eclipses. Once you have selected a new region and started adding points, you will notice blue arrows appear on your screen. These blue arrows allow you to move from region to region if you need to make any necessary changes. If you need to make any changes, you will need to tap on the arrow that corresponds with the region direction for which you wish to make a change. You also have the option here to remove the entire eclipse or just one or more points. You will notice that you have two options for sewing your pattern eclipse, sew continuous and sew eclipse border. The sew continuous option will allow you to sew in one continuous line from the start to finish of your eclipse area. Please note that not every pattern can be sewn as a continuous line. The Sew Eclipse border allows you to sew a border around your points. The Preview option allows you to see how your pattern is going to stitch out around your eclipse. By previewing your pattern prior to sewing, you can see exactly how it will stitch out. Once you're done creating your eclipse, you can tap OK to return to the quilting interface screen. Let's put all of this into action by creating our eclipses. I will show you how I can create eclipses around the shapes here. I'm going to eclipse a heart. Something like a heart is a little bit more curved, and to get a nice curved edge, you will to need to make a lot of points, as you can see here. As the eclipse grows, you will see my heart begin to take shape. Now that I've successfully created an eclipse for my heart, I'm going to make a new region for my star. I will also do new regions for my circle and my square. I have finished creating my eclipses. This button here is the keep out or keep in. I can either keep in the pattern in all my eclipses or keep them outside of my eclipses. This is what they look like inside the eclipses. And this is what they look like outside the eclipses. I want to sew this pattern outside the eclipses, so I will go ahead and do just that. Once you're done creating your eclipse, you can click OK and go back to the quilting interface screen. If you see a blue line, do not optimize it, because it could create a line where you don't want it to be. Let's sew to see how it turns out. This is sewing how I want it to sew. Once it's done, I'm going to create a new pattern so I can put it in my heart. I 
I have my new pattern, so I will create it to be the shape and size I want. And I'll go back into the Eclipse feature. It may have some of the shapes that I already made, and I can just get rid of those regions to get straight to the heart. I want to use this pattern for my circle, so I'll just go to Select and Sew so I can place it exactly where I want. I don't want my heart there anymore, so I'll delete it and create a new region for my circle. I'll keep my pattern inside, click OK, and then sew my circle. I'll find different patterns for my star and my rectangle, and then I'll eclipse them to show you what they look like. And there you go, my practice eclipsed all stitched out in different shapes. If you have any questions, we have further videos of the Eclipse on our Tuesdays with Grace and what you can do with it. If there's any technical issues that you experience with the Eclipse, you can give us a call.